Hey guys, today's project we are making RV stabilizing jack pads. We've used a lot of different ones on the market, but we really didn't like any, so I developed these and now I'm making a set for a friend we had at the RV park. Hey guys, it's John with Long Haul Lifesavers, and don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button. As you see here, these are our pads. They're a little shorter in the front and a little higher in the back. As I do my Vanna White impression, these are all the tools you'll need. First, you're going to need a couple drills. You'll need some drill bits and driver bits. You'll need some exterior screws that won't rust. Here we're using three and a half inch. You'll need a circular saw or some kind of saw to cut your wood. You'll need clamps in case you're working by yourself. It'll hold it steady. Go ahead and grab some wood glue in case you have any cracks you need to fill in. You'll need a tape measure, a T-square, and a pen, and I prefer a cut list. My Vanna White's getting better. Look at that table. I really like this DeWalt table. It has a thousand pound rating, so you can really get some heavy lumber on there. Check out our link above to watch a review on that table. Pro tip, this is how you plug your saw into an extension cord so it doesn't come undone when you pull it. Here we're using 2x12 lumber that I'm mocking out to a foot wide and that's going to be the base and the top of the jack stabilizer. After cutting all my lumber, I like to set them aside in groups so I know I have enough for each pad. Now we're moving on to the 4x4 lumber, which is going to be the center of the RV jack stabilizing pad. These are also cut to 12 inches in length to match the top and the bottom of the stabilizing pad. As you can see, I'm making multiple cuts on this side of the wood because my circular saw blade is not deep enough to cut through this completely. So what I'm going to have to do is make multiple cuts, rotate it, and make even more cuts. Here I've rotated it, like I said previously, and now I'm going to try to make these cuts again, and it's a little difficult on my own. And that's where your lovely wife and helper comes in.
When cutting these 4x4s, you'll need three for each RV stabilizing pad. As you can see on the right, I cut 1x2 furring strips and that's going to be used in the center of the front RV stabilizing pads. Now it's time to screw them all together. Here I'm putting the front stabilizers together first and as you can see I have a space in between each of the furring strips in the middle and that is to route a handle through it. Make sure to pre-drill to prevent cracking. It doesn't have to be perfect, just so there's a gap around each side. Now we're moving on to the big boys. Here, be careful and make sure to offset your screws. If not, they'll hit each other and crack the wood. Here's the handles we put through. Any nylon cord or weather resistant cord will do well. You can even put cabinetry handles on it. Here's a little trick with the nylon cord. Get you some pliers and melt the two together. I have now perfected my Vanna White. Look at all those RV stabilizing pads. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Stay safe.